welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFMN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Express your love. Impeccability of the word can be measured by a level of self-love. If you love yourself, you'll express that love in your interaction with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down nine, NASDAQ up 47, S&P's up 11 and a half, gold contract down $2.30, trading at 1774 an ounce. We have silver, down 24 cents, $19.60 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $2.40, $90.51 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up three ticks, trading 118.27. The 30 year up five at 140.15. And King Dollar. King Dollar is trading up 835 ticks at 107.407. The euro is at one to one. Euro is at par, folks. You got the yen trading out here at a price point of 135 to one US dollar, and the pound is 119 to one US dollar. Excuse me, folks, sorry about that. <laughs> Too many blueberries. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, you have uh, the SPY up uh, buck 46. You're gonna do maybe 40 million shares. Well, guess what? We came downtown yesterday with 63 million. You're up with 40. That's a market that wants lower price, man. I suspect this, this gap is gonna be game. The gap we're talking about is 412.75. Now, the way I'm looking at this market is that that would be the normal place that you can come back to. That being said, what you have that could really scare the heck out of a lot of people would be if you came back a 50% retracement and a 50% retracement is where we took off from on the 27th of July. Uh, that would be just enough that like, oh no, man, here we go again. So we'll see how this shakes out. If we start backing down with high volume, then that opens up the date of the 27th of July. If we just back down and the volume's not big, then it'll just fill that gap. That's in your SPY. We go into the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We're gonna, you know, bottom line, you can see it didn't hit the, see, if, you, if we hit the low today, then that would have been saying that, hey man, you're going topside. Because what we've done is, is go up rather than test the low of yesterday. So the low of yesterday had 47 million shares traded. We're at 27 million now, so it'll do like 37 million. That also leaves that gap wide open, that gap being 319.03. Gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at the gold contract. What we have with the gold contract, uh, it's amazing, as I said in that update, that it's not smoked because the doll is up almost a full penny. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. So, so what you have is that gold right now, you know, it's trading lower. You got 116,000 contracts. That's still going against light of volume. Going against 157,000 contracts. You're going against 193,000. So that's telling me, bottom line, it still wants higher price. Now, it's going to be really hard for gold, all these commodities to get to higher price. We'll go into oil for a second to get to higher price when you see this dollar. Because what we have here is this. You take a look at the dollar and you have a decisive break. Now, so check this out. Let me make this. This is like such a classic, it's unbelievable actually. So here you go. Yeah, you had a decisive break of your channel line. And that decisive break was on the 30th, no, 16th, 16th of August, okay? Bottom line, what does it do? Jumps right back inside the channel line. And when you have that, that's considered a false break, folks, okay? When you get a false break, if you get a false break top side, you're gonna go downtown. You get a false break downtown, this is going uptown, man. This is going right after the 109 294. And uh, we'll see where the rest of this is gonna shake out, but that's my take on it. The thing that's amazing out here today is that the market really is not paying attention to the strong dollar. 
That's, that's the reality. And we'll see uh, if, in fact, it does. Uh, what we do have, you have option, option expiration tomorrow. So this is a nice time that you, you will get some divergence. And I heard Dave uh, White talking about, you know, on the open. Uh, and that happens quite a bit, folks. Okay, uh, let's see. So is, I got to look at that and see. Because what does happen is that the, the cash S&P options expire on the open. And that's when you see, if you see one pushing one way, bottom line, that's all about the close of the options on the open, which is pretty cool. And once you kind of understand that uh, and watch it play out, don't just, you know, you can take what I'm saying, but take a look at it. Don't trade off it, and, and you'll see how this works. And you want to do that, you know, whether it's six months, seven months, a year, so you can really kind of get a feel of how that shakes out. Some of the high volume equities out here, let's go take a look at them because uh, what we have out here is you can have a low volume day. We have Bed Bath & Beyond that's getting smoked uh, down five bucks. That's at 17.80. Uh, Apple is flat. Apple's going to be coming out with a huge amount of uh, new product, I guess, uh, the first week of September. Uh, you get AMC down a buck 74. We got uh, Cisco come out with numbers. That's a blast from the past. That's up 280 right now. Uh, in fact, let's go inside the NDX 100 and see what's holding it up because, you know, years ago, folks, it was what, Cisco, Dell, Sun Micro, uh, it was one more. Oh, and Microsoft. Those are the four kings. I mean, they, you know, they talk about trading. That, that was the four kings. Today, what do you have? You have Cisco up uh, 6%. You have Marvell Technology up 4%. You get Broadcom up 37 And you get Constellation Brands up 2.8%. Uh, taken away from it. Now, these are big numbers taken away from it. This is, you know, this is really intriguing, actually. And what you have is this. You have Walgreens Boots down 6.5%. Netties is off 5.8%. Moderna is off 5 And you get Baidu off 3 Those are big numbers on the other side on the way down. So we'll see, you know, how this whole thing shakes out. Let's go uh, and take a look at Best Buy. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, rather. Uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, this is a meme stock, no doubt about that. Uh, bottom line, this thing yesterday gets, oh, well, first off, no, just let's go back three weeks. Three weeks ago, it's trading at 455 Goes all the way up to thirty dollars yesterday. Trading at seventeen seventy four. You got uh, one of the largest owners is going to sell all the shares, make out like a bandit, and you know they got to love that. These meme stocks, they just, I mean, that's nothing compared to how much money was already made there. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs>